When you bake these, which I love to bake, but in the regular oven, it usually takes forever, right? Like an hour, 45 minutes, an hour. <laughs> it's forever. But we're going to try a new way of sweet potatoes in a much faster way using... They guessed right. My favorite tool. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Make, fix, grow, cook. Garden fork. Okay, these aren't, for, well actually, we have a recipe for sweet potato dog treats. I'll link that at the end of the show, and in the show notes. But usually when you're baking potatoes, you wash them, you poke holes in them, you put them in here, and you turn on your stove, and it's like an hour, right? Yeah, forever. But if they're an easier way, wouldn't you do that? Yes. Wash these nicely. I mean, how can you wash them not nicely, I guess is the question, right? How do you know when they're clean enough? They look clean. <laughs> so Garden Fork is all about, hey, let's try this and see what happens, right? Wow. And I'm very intrigued. First of all, I'm a big fan of that Instant Pot machine, as you know. But the idea of cooking sweet potatoes that much faster, sign me up, you know? It's super simple. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to get a cup and a half of water, and we're going to put that in the bottom of this. So this, uh, it's called a trivet thing. So you gotta fold in the, oh, maybe the handles would be handy. Why don't we keep the handles out, okay? So this goes in here, and then you do it so these handles are laying on the sides, right? Cool. One, two, you can go on top of each other? Yeah, yeah it's garden fork. You don't know. <laughs> We're just gonna see what happens. <laughs> this is supposed to work. I wanna share it with you. Come along for the ride. Who said it was supposed to work? The internet. <laughs> On. Make sure that is set back toward ceiling. I just put an outlet. Don't look at the handiwork. I put an outlet <laughs> behind the stove so I could put the Instant Pot around on the stove. So on the web, there's all sorts of cooking times for this. We're going to do high pressure at 15 minutes with a uh, slow or uh, natural release. All right. So we hit, oh, we hit manual, and I'm going to set it for 15 at high pressure. It's going to make a happy sound. There you go. And now we just walk away and watch Labradors. Where's your ball? Where's your ball, honey? So we actually Whoa. do have, <laughs> we have a really great recipe for making sweet potato dog treats because they're really expensive in the store. Um, but it'll be in the show notes or at the end of the video, there'll be a big picture link. Um, as you can tell, my dogs like vegetables and <laughs> we're not gonna eat this for human now, but I'm gonna make sweet potato dog treats super simple way <laughs> for these two. So. You know, for the longest time, I had a regular stovetop pressure cooker and I was kind of like an electric pressure cooker and I would roll my eyes. And then I got one of these and I became like a big fanboy, as you can tell. But it just, it makes your cooking life a lot easier. We make beans with this all the time, chickpeas, um, food for those two. Well, they eat whatever we're eating. So, um, but yeah, I'll link below to the model that I have and um, a really good couple of recipe books. And we'll see what happens here. This is the pressure valve. It barely makes any noise. It's much different than a stovetop pressure cooker. It'll just say on when it reaches pressure. It'll start counting down the time and you'll barely know it's on. And it has a keep warm mode when it's done with the pressure cooking. I usually, it makes a happy sound and I know that it's done. And then I just go over and hit the off button to take it out of keep warm. And then it does what's called a natural release. In other words, um, you let the 
temperature cool down, the pressure cools down, someone's here. Eric's in the kitchen, so there might be food. <laughs> All right, but so I'll just turn this off when it's done pressuring. The keep warm mode is not a deal breaker. It's just set um, if you wanted to depressurize without flipping the switch for manual release, um, you'll turn it off. Okay, it's reached pressure, so it's counting down now um, from 15 down to zero. Go into keep warm mode, turn it off. See what happens. Somebody thinks it's dinner time, but it's not. <laughs> so we unplug the Instant Pot. Um, you can also just hit the cancel button. It'll go no keep warm mode. My plan here is to cool off the sweet potatoes, but they're cool enough for us to sample, right? So you can take a knife or whatever and make sure that's unsealed, that's depressurized. There we go. Nice. Oh, it just steamed up. Yeah, that happens. You might have to wait a moment. <laughs> Is that better? Much better. Oh, I feel clearer now. <laughs> Maybe I should get some tongs for this. Where are you going to put them? I'm taking them out. Maybe I should get a bowl. <laughs> Do they feel good? Yep. Yeah. Careful. Is it going to burn my tongue, you think? Uh-huh. Let's see what happens. Mm-mm. I know it's delicious. And it's <laughs> healthy. And now you can make some sweet potato dog treats for your dogs, right? Yeah, you mean watch the other videos that me? Yeah. So there's more information about me below. There should be some text below the video or hit the down arrow. If you want to subscribe, hit the little bell with the subscribe button as well. I want to subscribe. Eclectic DIY. It's Garden Fork. It's cooking, gardening, other fun stuff, home improvement, and sweet potatoes. See ya.